It promises to be a frightful Halloween weekend from the horrible weather in the Northeast to strange demons begging for treats. So why not have a scare fest to get you in a terrifying mood? Here with their favorite fearsome flicks are film critics Michael Phillips of the Chicago Tribune and A.O. Scott of the New York Times. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. We broke these horror films down into several categories. Going to begin with slasher films. Now, Tony, you chose 1978's Halloween, directed well, on, by John Carpenter. On Jim Halloween, Carpenter. I think you have to you have to go Can't to go the <laughs> go to the canon. And this was, uh, I mean, I. I was was young and impressionable when I when I saw this movie. I think it was I was twelve when it came uh -huh. out, which is just just the age to be <laughs> totally terrified and blown away by it. And at the time, I think it was kind of like the Paranormal Activity or Blair Witch Project of its moment because it was very low budget, very simple, and very very effectively scary. Um, partly because it put you right in the point of view, um, not of the victim but of the killer, in a way that was um, really sort of unnerving and is still. You know, this has been remade and sequelized sure. to death, so to speak. But the first one um, still has uh, has a lot of really nasty. Yeah. Power. Direct, directed I, by John Carpenter. Yeah. I, I think that yeah. film does not hold up as well as you do. I really don't. I don't think. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. <laughs> well, Michael, you, 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 Jamie Lee Curtis's first film. How can it well, not? You know? speak, speaking of holding good, up, but. let's go back to 1961, Michael, and your favorite slasher film, right. Psycho. Psycho. Well, you can't, Psycho. No, no. There's no arguing that that film holds up. But it, it's also it, it's bending the kind of the definition of slasher film a little. A bit just to kind of go back and really talk about the film that did just shock people and completely different from anything yeah. Hitchcock had made before. Yeah. It helped change and really get rid of the production code and the censorship that was going on, and it really paved the way for the, all this other really kind of brave new world of the 60s where violence mm -hmm. suddenly. You know, came out of the closet, so to speak. And then you could you could you could kill the lead actress, you know, just yeah. a few minutes. And into Psycho, the movie. though, I think Psycho. You see that again, and mm -hmm. you, just to see how those performances and those characters really, yeah. really remain completely vivid. Anthony Perkins, yeah. Jenna Lee. I mean, that that film is is excellent every which way. Let, let's move on to the next category. That would be ghost stories. And Tony, you went with 2001's The Others, starring yeah. Nicole Kidman. Why? The, well, this is a movie that that I don't think is as well known as, say, The Sixth Sense, um, which is was the sort of the big the big ghost story from. Mm -hmm. A couple years before, but this I think is a great variation on the haunted house theme. There's Nicole Kidman is, is a mother um, with these two children who have this this pathological allergy to light, and they're in this big house at some you know time in in, in the past with these servants, and it uses a lot of very old tried and true you know camera rolling down the corridor, doors flying open techniques. Um, but it's very psychologically intense, and it has a terrific plot twist. I won't give it away, but it really pulls the rug out from under you gotcha. in, in a brilliant way. Now, Michael, 1961 apparently is a good year for you because you like The Innocence from yes, 1961. Yes, The Innocence. Well, and very, very similar kind of yeah. atmospheric vibe with The Innocence is Jack Clayton's film. It's based on Henry James' Turn of the Screw. Deborah Carr plays a governess who's dealing with these two kids who are uh, haunted by their previous governess and uh, and the, the the valet from the from that house, and this I, I think is uh, like Psycho, and mm. it may be the only thing it really has in common with Psycho, but it mm. is it is gorgeous black and white atmospheric horror with mm. with with just a very a very great just just atmosphere you can just touch. It's fantastic, and and it and it's just kind of creepy. You don't always know quite why it's scary. Mm. It's one of those movies that kind of just gets under your skin yeah. and, and disturbs you in ways yeah. that, that you don't. That's a lovely film. Yeah. I'm already frightened, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> A.O. Scott, Thanks. Michael Phillips, appreciate you coming in today. Good to talk to you.